Hey everybody, is she in her standard, I now call uniform, aka her Laura leggings? <laughs> you betcha sweet booty, and she living on the edge today, there are no grippers on the socks. <laughs> um, okay, so I've got so much to tell you all. I feel like I haven't filmed in forever, and it's literally been like maybe four days. So, first off, hi, hello, welcome, my name's Rhonda, and over here we're embracing the hot mess, we are embracing our curves we don't let the number on the scale or the tag on our britches define our happiness all right so my husband took a tumble so he is now going to graduate to gripper socks i know can we give a huge shout out to um hot mess hubby for his booty because oh dear lord that man he works from home and he was walking down the stairs actually he wasn't even working at that point he just went down to get a snack or something, I don't know. Anyways, he fell down the basement stairs. His poor booty apparently has more cushion on it than mine because he didn't luckily break his tailbone, but guess who did uh, like last year? Last year? Yeah, me. So that's why I graduated in two gripper socks. I'm now passing the torch to Hot Miss Hubby. He is now gonna have to have gripper socks or slippers, you know, one of the two. Anyways, speaking of Hot Miss Hubby, so I was putting my face on today so I could film this uh, Timu haul for y'all. And I had a little Christmas music playing. Will I get into the video eventually? Yes. Hi, you clicked on a channel that starts with hot mess. Okay, that's on you, Bill. Anyways, so I was sitting there and I was like, do, 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 with my makeup and everything. And I was listening to Christmas music and Blue Christmas from Elvis Presley came on. And I was like trying, like, listen girl can't sing to save her life I mean we if the world depended on me to get a really good song out for y'all y'all screwed all right let's be real husband he can he can totally sing my 22 year old she can sing me no so I'm sitting there and I'm thinking in my head that I was like oh, have a blue. I thought it sounded great okay I really did I was like hunka hunka you know and my husband comes up to make his lunch and he goes what what were you doing in here I'm like what are you talking about he's like I, I thought I heard you like I don't know it sounded like you were dying now he was not trying to make fun of me he literally thought I was like choking on something <laughs> and I was like oh well, what did it sound like because <laughs> well, I don't know like hmm, hmm. Like I was trying to sing Elvis Presley's Blue Christmas. So, <laughs> anyways, welcome. Yeah, that's my day. And, whew, anyway. So, you all have asked multiple times, and I listen. Hey, Rhonda, have you heard of Timu? Honestly, I had no idea what you all were talking about. Um, and then I did a little researchy searchy Googling what is Timu, and it was literally like T E M O O is how I was spelling it, but it's T E. MU. Y'all, this place looks really promising. I haven't gone through it. I just cut the bag open. So I'm about to pour everything out. The prices over at this place are like, honestly, I'm not going to lie. I felt like it was too good to be true. They have everything from clothes to for, did they have men? I think they did. Or I think they had like mommy and me outfits. I can't remember. They had housing, beauty, like home decor whatever so i i kind of just picked a bunch of different stuff to try out for you all so i purchased everything with my own money and uh i'm very curious about everything so the first item i'm going to show you all i got an xxl um if you are curious about my measurements and whatnot y'all i'll have it down in my description box also, thank you to those of you who have been uh, checking out my Poshmark. I slowly but surely have been listing stuff over there. Um, it is just, it's just been busy and crazy. And you know, your girl's only got energy for so long during the day. Wow. Okay. So these are crazy stretchy. I did read the reviews. And like I always tell you all, this is my first time ever shopping at Timu. But I always tell you all, I find that it is so much easier for me to know my measurements. I think... I think a lot to do with like body dysmorphia like that is one thing that years ago I think on my other channel some of y'all pointed out to me is like you're really thinking you are a different size than you actually are body dysmorphia so 
Anyways, I found that if I go based off measurements, I have more of a successful shopping experience no matter where I shop. So I picked up these really cute distressed denim jeans and I love the fact they are crazy, crazy stretchy. If y'all don't know, your girl's got sensory disorder, hence why you always see me pretty much in like always my Halara leggings, some sort of leggings. Um, this, this is like a sleeveless top. I've worn it, I don't know how many times from Bay Leaf. I love it. And of course, a hoodie. It's my standard gear. I'm, whatever. I'm being weird. So it's a really light type of denim, which I can get down with because I feel like it's definitely going to be more breathable. Um, like I told y'all, it's got some distressing on here. So we will definitely, we will see. I think I actually paired it with this sweater. This sweater is in a large. And same with a lot of places, I just was kind of, ooh, this feels nice. I was trying to go based off of like any reviews I could find. So, okay, first and foremost, this, I love the way it feels. I love the way it feels. You all know your girl's got sensory, sensory disorder at the wazoo. So I try to be very mindful when trying to explain to y'all what fabrics feel like. This is a super uber soft sweatery thin material but thin that i can get down with you know like not where i'm gonna sweat profusely i just spit on you guys i'm so sorry sorry my bad my bad judgment free zone um so honestly i low-key kind of feel like this could be a sweater dress but you might be able to see through it but it is nice and long but i was kind of thinking like a little bit of a tuck or something into the jeans would be really cute it's like this very soft heathery gray it's super soft gray like a light honestly you know that trendy wall color that everybody and their mother is painting their house it's like that color mine is not that color my walls stay builders beige why it's too expensive i am not gonna pay to get my re whole house repainted that is expensive i not got time for that either because i'm cheap and i will do it myself but what is this a gift card or a giveaway to your family and friends scratch the code huh okay i'll do that in a sec i'm gonna go back and get this sweater in every color it is amazing it's nice and long and i tell you what i feel like if you put like those leggings that look like pantyhose or something i keep seeing them all over tiktok i, I mean i think it looks cute with these white jeans but I feel like if you wore it as a dress, you could totally get away with a tall pair of like black boots and you know, you know the black Carmen San Diego hat that I talk about all the time. That to me would be so aesthetically pleasing. And the fact that this sweater is so freaking crazy affordable, I'm like, okay, I want it in black, I want it in burgundy, I want it in green, khaki, like I'm gonna need all the colors. Cause this, and of course you could always do like a little tuckety tuck like a little french tuck moment somehow you know um put a little hat on with it cute pair of like boots hold your coffee cute little crossbody bag oh my god it's got my brain up pumping all right next in here like i said i got a mix of clothes and i don't know so this is in a large and it does come in like these like reusable bags very similar to Shein. Ooh, this is cute. I like this navy blue. Is this like a cardigan or something? No. <gasps> oh my god, it's a sweater dress with a really cute pair of boots. It's in this really pretty like navy color. It's gonna make those eyes pop. So I love that. I think it's so cute. I don't know what this kind of material is called. Um, I call it like a waffly type of material, very similar to what we've seen with, with skims. But this is cute. And then it kind of has like this cable look down the center. I don't know if my camera's picking it up, hopefully. I don't know, you see right down the center that's like meant to be there. I thought that was cute. Of course, the Carmen San Diego hat, really cute pair of boots. Precious. Okay, so y'all remember my obsession with my white boots from Shein, I had to bust them back out for this. I thought this would be so cute. I feel like, I feel like if we got like a really cute 
flannel to wrap around our waist or something that that would be like a total like mm, picture wait photo photo moment polaroid moment like how cute would that be now of course you don't have to go like all like look at my boots you could totally like you know calm it down but mm -hmm. have you met me extra extra read all about it i really like this i think it's really cute i do have my white shaper mint bra on because obsession and i'm not in the mood to change it so i'm, I'm not gonna but I like the length on this. I am like 5'3 on a good day. And this hits me right perfect like where I love to wear my dresses. I will tell y'all, the way that this like large fits, I mean it's nice and it's stretchy. So you definitely have room. But the nice thing too, if you want to like roll it under, do a French tuck or something with like the jeans or what have you, you totally could have gotten away with that. No problem. So I think this is a super cute outfit and it's not itchy by the way nothing that I had on was itchy now I will tell you all this fabric is like that waffly fabric I just spit on you all again I'm so sorry sorry I just I just got so much to say I'm so excited I forget to swallow I'm like Pluck. anyways um but I will say out of all of the material that I tried on this one I feel touch me touch touches me the most you know what I'm saying like yeah, I feel this material. Not enough to where it's going to drive me crazy, but it's definitely one where I wouldn't be like all like, oh, let's snuggle and like, no. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm going to wear it out. I'm going to be all cute and I'm going to come home, take it off and put something else on. Does that make sense? I know like I know a lot of y'all told me because I was really scared and my one of my last videos where I was trying to explain fabrics and explain like my sensory disorder and I'm like maybe I overdo it but if somebody else is out there like me who needs to know the fabric because the last thing I want to do is be like this is so cozy this is so amazing and then you get it and you're like whoa <laughs> miss ma'am I feel that so I just want you to know for this fabric I feel it but it's not itchy to the point where I'm going to be like mm -mm. so Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, can we just talk right quick? The quality of these items that I am feeling and I am touching, I really, really like. The prices were insane. Everything that you were seeing today came to 60, I think it was like $63. Wait, I smudged my camera. The amount of professionalism. I know you guys are shook. So this website, y'all, like, this is insanely promising this has me so excited all right the next item looks like a hoodie of some kind and it's in a size large oh this is actually a nice kind of hoodie oh okay so i thought this would be cute to have like a, a little bit of a baggy uh hoodie it's not a hoodie it's a sweatshirt sorry hoodies have hoods Rhonda. this is a sweatshirt but i thought this would be really freaking cute with a pair of say with me, hello, leggings, hello, leggings. Where is this energy coming from? My coffee, my coffee. Okay, ready. My husband's probably like, girl, what? <laughs> Anyways, um, I like this, and this feels really nice. I will say, I do have some. Do you hear that? Dry skin. Oh, I hate that. Uh, so as long as your dry skin is not touching that it's gonna be fine it's really nice and soft but it kind of has a little bit of that grip to their dry skin but you know fun fact it's it's not like it's gonna be on that here we go this hoodie nope nope Rhonda it's still not a hoodie it is a sweatshirt and I've got hair <sighs> hmm. uh, I have hair in my face I'm so sorry not really it's okay we are not a people pleaser no more okay so uh, this super cozy it's a large it's like a nice oversized type of fit and i i love this i wish it had pockets and i do wish it has a, a hoodie but for the flipping price you all like this i love cozy i love how soft it is on the inside i mean it is just oh i i can't timu 
Mm, I'm gonna have to get us a discount code, y'all. <laughs> this has me a little surprised. I got this in an XXL, and I was very skeptical if it was really going to be an XXL. The reason being, and I'm, this is like my second time trying to explain it, but I see this particular similar type of top, which yes, I do own one similar to it that I get compliments on all the time. It's a little tie-dye, but it's all it's this like beautiful blonde, and it's like a partial of her face, like maybe nose down, and then you see her long blonde hair, and I've seen it like on Instagram and TikTok and like, I think I've seen it over at Shein, and I'm like, is that really gonna be a true XXL? Or is it gonna come in really tiny? You know what I'm saying? Like, they tell you it's an XXL, but it actually comes in, and you're, you hold it up, and it's like, that's a freaking medium. Okay, that, I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I thought this was gonna be. This truly does not look like a medium, which has me very happy. This looks like a true, in my opinion, XXL. So they're doing very, very good, I feel like, with their sizing. Again, the quality is very nice. It's thin, which I like because it feels like it's breathable. It feels like pajama fabric. And I thought it would be cute with those white jeans. So I'm actually really impressed with this Timu, y'all. Like, I know you guys were like, can you check it out? Do you mind checking it out to see if it's worth it? And I'm like, okay, y'all. When I say freaking run to Timu, do it. Okay, so the jeans are in an XXL, and they're definitely like a stretchy type of hugging material. Um, as far as the waist goes, there's no way. Like, I'm pulling it away, and it's really stretchy, and I'm like, oh, there's no way it could size down. I wouldn't size down because everybody would be like, oh my god, you're cooking, camel, bleh. But um, the XXL is perfect. They are a thinner, lightweight material. The pockets are real. They're a deep pocket, which is nice. And I really like it. I love this outfit together. The length is perfect. They are so, like, I can bend. I can move. I have dark panties on, so you may see that. <laughs> but uh, I really like everything together. Uh, the top, like I said, is in an XXL. And it's nice, and it's roomy. It is so flippin' soft. This is the type of material, the only way I know how to describe it is like cozy, go to bed in it. I, th like it's the kind of material that I don't mind if it touches my skin for like 24 seven. You know what I mean? It's that nice butter type of material. I absolutely love this outfit together. Like I told y'all, everything that I showed you in this haul came to 60 some dollars, like 63, 66. 67 like no more than $67 you guys and um, that to me is absolutely crazy so let me go ahead and show y'all the next like this is amazing I know I picked something up already from Shein that was similar to this but I thought this was even cuter <laughs> so and it literally was just a couple bucks so like I said you can't beat these deals. I literally thought this was gonna be too good to be true. I just dropped the doohickey. That doohickey does. Is that the filter, maybe? Is this battery operated, maybe? I don't know. We learn together. Oh, okay, you got a little, wow. Okay, so it's a little plug-in diffuser. <gasps> Can you guys see? No, you can't. Do you guys see it? It lights up. It's already freaking charged. Do you put water in here? What did I buy? <laughs> no. I gotta read the directions. A USB charging LED lamp and a silent spray? Yeah, it's a little diffuser doohickey. Isn't that so cute? Okay, we will definitely be trying that. Oh, I like that it's more compact than the other one, but I also need to read the instructions uh, that I just saw right here in this bio so luckily they've got instructions in here so i will definitely be figuring this out oh yeah okay i i am a genius jesus lord oh my gosh okay i had it like this you you actually do that and then it lights up <laughs> and then it stays like this on your desk or whatever so and then the 
water's gonna come out of here. I know, I know. You guys stick around for, oh, it turns different colors. Oh my gosh, you guys. Uh, somebody's gonna ask, shipping. I ordered all of this late, like November 30th, and it arrived December 12th. So honestly, I didn't feel like the shipping was all that bad, given the fact that I've told you all that like, typically a majority of my items come in a week and a half, not from here, but just in general. So it was just about a week and a half, almost two weeks. So I didn't, I mean, for sixty some dollars for all of this, I'll take it. So this is one of those continuous spray bottles. Again, insanely inexpensive. And I have one of those Dyson air wraps and you're actually supposed to have your hair a little damp. Um, or when I do my oil aplex treatments, you're supposed to dampen your hair. I make a freaking mess because I'll like try and get my brush wet and then rake through my hair, it's so dumb. So I got one of these. Perfect. These are actually typically on Amazon like eight to ten dollars, if not more. So I was really excited to see this for just a couple bucks. So this is this is boggling my brain. Super inexpensive. Those little they're not really technically dermaplane razor uh, razors, but they're like little razors you can shave your peach fuzz with. I've been shaving my peach fuzz for like ever. I got these for stocking stuffers. These are, I got them in a large because again, I wasn't for sure how sizing was going to be. They have a little zipper. These are actually nice. Okay, they fit. I mean, probably should have done a medium, but we can get away with a large. I got um, a pair for me in my cart. Oh my gosh. Okay, random things. Broom holders. Change. It was literally pocket change. Um... So I got one of these like reach sponge cleaner thingies for my kids showers and I needed a hook to hang it after I'm done using it. So I, it's like a sticky on one side and then it comes with like a little clip. I'm really sorry y'all. I clicked a button on my camera and I don't know what it's doing and she's old but like they're expensive so I'm like okay sweetie you gotta pull it together. So I, I picked up like three of them. Don't worry Timu I'll be back. I'm, a, I'm totally going to be back. I'm going to be downloading the app and like, because they always have like shipping deals. I didn't pay for shipping. The shipping was like nothing. What is this? Oh my gosh. Are y'all ready for this? Okay. So if you follow me on my other channel, I do a series. I started back in like 2017 when I started that channel called, is it a duper just a waste of money? Why? Let me tell you. Because uh, in 2007, I was a single mother, poor as I'll get out and I couldn't afford nice bougie makeup and so I it always kind of stuck with me and always you know was like man I'd really like to have nice makeup but like also I need to provide for my children so that always stuck with me so when I was able to afford nicer makeup I still was curious about dupe makeup because back then they didn't have dupe makeup you know so anyways all of that to say that I have a channel and I do, is it a dupe or just a waste of money? And I found this little palette that I thought I would test out on my other channel um, and do a little, is it a dupe or just a waste of money? This is a, supposed to be a dupe for the Natasha Denona. I think it's her retro palette maybe. So I love the color story in this. I love that. So definitely make sure to check me out over on my other channel. I thought it would be kind of fun to put them up against each other. This was literally so inexpensive. Her regular palette is expensive. So, mm, got another one of those, because why not? Oh my gosh. Oh, I got three pairs of gloves. And then I love socks. These are a little different. So these, uh, oh dang, they're really comfortable though. Okay, so they look nice and cozy, and they are real nice and stretchy, but they are kind of, hold on, let me show you. They're kind of cheapy. So these you guys could do without. To be real with you guys you could do without these now i'm not gonna fib i'm still gonna wear them because look on the inside they have like that fleece like they have like that fleece hoodie material my poor camera is just not wanting to autofocus for nothing i this whole dang on video could have been out of focus for all i know um but i thought you know what they're worth a try they were really inexpensive i'm still gonna use them and i did notice on timu's app uh that you have like 90 days 
90 days to try everything out, which I thought was amazing. All right, friends, so that is everything for today's first ever Timu haul, and holy guacamole, this was insanely successful. So, the only thing I would tell you all is know your measurements, hands down, just like I would tell you with any other brand, company, whatever. Um, I think it's just much, much health, helpful that way to just know your measurements. Read the reviews, of course, but I think overall, this was crazy great. And this is gonna be a company that is definitely gonna be taking a lot of my money. <laughs> I mean, the clothing, the quality of the clothing really surprised me. I, the expectation versus reality was insane. I did not in all 100% transparency, I did not think this was, I thought it was going to be like a wish situation. I really did. But I feel like everything that I purchased, hands down, I will definitely be wearing. I think it's really cute. I don't think it looks cheap. I think that this is definitely, definitely a really good company that I will be shopping from again matter of fact i'm going to be going on that app and checking it out now so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if i can link and list everything down below i'm definitely going to do that just check my description boxes down below if i can find any coupon codes for you all i will definitely put it down below at the time that i placed this order unfortunately i did not find them on rakuten so hopefully they do come to rakuten which would be an amazing way for me to justify my purchases with Timu. Um, but if even though like they're not on Rakuten, I still recommend downloading Rakuten, whether you download the app or download it to your computer desktop, because it will prompt you when you are on your desktop, when you want to shop online, it'll prompt you to activate whether you're doing Instacart, Sam's Club, whatever walmart it'll it'll activate for you well you gotta click it but whatever so right now rakuten does have like a 30 dollars sign up bonus if you signed up with my referral link a couple weeks ago when it was a 40 dollars sign up bonus which they only do like once a year make sure you activate that why would you not want your 40 dollars once you make a purchase of 30 dollars or more or $40 or more, depending on what the sign-up bonus was at the time that you signed up, you will literally get that money right back in a check, sent to your PayPal, sent to your house, however. So I will have my Rakuten referral down below if you do sign up. Thank you all, bunches and bunches. And again, my nose doesn't work, so if I sound winded, it's because she's just here for looks. Tis the mother trucking season or allergy life whatever. So anyways, friends, don't forget to check me out on my other channel, Hot Miss Mama MD, where I do a ton of makeup subscription unboxings, makeup try-ons, all the funness over there. And my other newest channel, Hot Mess in the Kitchen, where I do quick, easy, budget-friendly, get in, get out dinner meals. <laughs> because mom don't like to cook, but I do have to feel my, feed my crew. And DoorDash is too expensive. Anyways, I'm also on TikTok and on Instagram at Hot Miss Mama 4. And until next time, kisses from Kentucky. Bye, friends.